Hi everybody, welcome back to Quasi Cat Customs. So today we're going to be doing a highly requested custom. I am really excited to do this one for you guys. So today we're going to be making a Professor Nat Quick. So um, I was doing a lot of thinking, trying to find just the perfect figure to use. And I came down to choosing this Barnacles here. Um, I was also debating about this one. I also thought about using like a Quasi because of his eye shape and everything. But um, I ended up kind of going down to this Barnacles here. Just mainly because um, he has the more squinty eyes. So it'll be easier to sort of shape them into more of the almond shape versus the circles. And um, his outfit is slightly similar to Professor Nat Quick's. I think this one will be fairly easy to get a close resemblance to his outfit. The only problem I ran into is because of his hat. Um, I don't really want to like try to cut that off because that would take forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do him with his hood up. Um, I kind of wanted to do it with his hood down, but, um, maybe I try a custom later on, maybe try to do that version, but, um, today I'm just going to do him with his hood up, because he's cute like that too, and, um, that'd cover up the hat. Um, I may try to trim off, like, this part here, um, I'm not sure, we'll see what, kind of, go with the flow, see what happens, as Pawnee would say. Um, so the, the, I don't say ingredients, the materials that you're going to use is some of this air dry clay. Um, you may remember we used a different kind, the, um, Crayola modeling clay. That <laughs> didn't work permanently, I found. Um, that you're not going to want to use because this is going to be a future project. <laughs> Bianca got all sticky and soft and her hat the clay is basically just crumbling so she is going to be getting a remake here soon so i might i don't know if i'll film it but i'll at least post pictures when she's all fixed up but anyways that apparently does not work while well, as the figures that i use this with are holding up perfectly they feel amazing and then you're going to use some mod podge i use the purple can it's the um hard coat water base sealer glue and finish so this is um really good gets like a nice hard kind of shiny plasticky sort of coating on it which is really good i really like using that and then um, as far as paints go um i'm gonna have a white just to do some touch-ups um i probably won't be using a whole lot because barnacles is white already i won't have to like paint his face or anything I'm going to use a black for some touch-ups, and then we're going to use a green for his outfit, and um, some different browns. I'm not sure which shades I'm going to use, but I got like a regular brown, like a more lighter brown. This is the caramel candy and nutmeg brown, and this is the coffee bean. And then I also have um, two other shades of green that I can kind of work with. We're going to kind of see as we go. And then I also have a yellow for some little details and like trying to mix colors to get the right shades and that sort of stuff. Um, you're going to want to, when you're picking paints, to make sure you use a gloss finish or a satin. Because if you use the matte ones, they just scrape right off. They do not stick to the plastic, so those will not work. Um, if you only have a certain color in matte, you can mix it with like a little bit of the uh, gloss finish paint and that would work as well. Then of course you're going to use paint brushes and um, as far as tools I mostly use my hands but you can use like an X-Acto knife, um, like any sort of clay modeling tools, um, toothpicks, things like that, anything you have around the house you can use for getting into smaller little crevices and whatnot. But that is all for that. So, I think I'm going to start, well, first things first, we get out some of this clay. Hopefully it's still soft. I actually haven't used this for a little bit now, so <laughs> watch it be all dried out. A little bit here at the top, underneath it is nice and soft yet. 
That's good. So we're going to start by softening up a little bit of clay. I'm gonna take a little more, a nice chunk. I need it's harder stuff on the top I might use for making miniature food. Another hobby of mine. Okay, so you're gonna get it nice and soft. Warm it up in your hands, get nice and pliable. So, um, the biggest things we're going to have to do with him is the biggest thing is going to be getting the um, hood on and covering the hat and then pointing the ears and kind of making the eyes just a little more almond shaped. Other than that, um, the rest is going to be painting. Um, I will probably mold on a tail too. So we'll see. Um, so I think first things first, we're going to start with the hood. Because that will really kind of cover up the hat. That will be an important step. So I'm going to start molding this into this kind of horseshoe shape doesn't have to be super smooth or anything, just very basic. I'm um, also measuring. Like at this point, you more so just want to get the clay on. You do not want to worry so much about um, like molding it as much. You just really want to get the basic shaping more so at this stage. So right now, that's a good start. So right there, we got like the basic brim of his hood. I think I'll bring that down a little bit. We won't go the whole way around. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna bring it straight down under his chin. Now that quick has his little scruffy bits, so we're gonna mold those on top of this. go ahead and do his little fur here on the side. I do them all together I think and more so just pinch. Start with very basic shapes again and just stick them here and then we'll kind of start shaping it more so then. Biggest thing when you're doing customs is more so learning to trust the process because every time you start, it looks very silly. And you're like, what am I doing? This does not look good. But biggest thing is just learning to trust the process. Don't think that right away because everything, biggest thing is just kind of breaking it down into little steps. So there he's got like the very basic shaping. So now I'm going to grab my exacto knife. I should have gone out beforehand. There we go. Okay. And we're going to start kind of cutting in and shaping his fur. So that is kind of the very basic fur shaping we got going on here on the side. Again, I'll we'll need some more trimming and shaping as we go, but that's the very basic start. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side, and I'll be back to show you guys what we're going to do next. Okay, so you now got his little furs here on the side. So now I'm going to finish modeling the hood. So basically I'm going to just cover up the whole hat with some clay. Okay, so now we got the hood on. Um, that's how it kind of looks back here. Um, 
So I feel like it kind of disguised the hat for, at least decently. Um, it's going to stick up a little bit, but my biggest goal was more so, um, like that would be kind of like the peak of his hood, but more so trying to kind of keep it one uniform um, shape. So it'll just kind of be like the hood of his coat. We'll kind of try to mold more so. So I'm going to, while well, it's kind of soft yet, just kind of sculpt like the designing in his hood. There we go. So now we're going to um, make his ears a little more pointy. So to do that, we're just going to add a little clay here, kind of over top of the existing ear. And we're just going to make it a point. You want to make sure you try to keep all the lines pretty soft. Don't want it like too pointy. So there, got his little ears on there like that. I'm going to just let him, oh, the, the eyes. I can't forget about that. Okay, so for the eyes, kind of the same thing as what we did with the ears. I'm just gonna get a little bit of clay here. Now his eyes are already squinted. So I'm just gonna put a little clay over top. Like that. Okay guys, so it's a few days later and um, I was working on the custom some more. Um, so obviously we didn't get a whole lot done today. I just painted on his face markings and um, yeah, painted on his eyes. That's pretty much all I did. Um, I'm really tired after work today so I think I'm just going to call this quits. Um, but you can kind of see it's starting to come together a little bit. So this is a short little update, but I thought I'd show you guys what all I got done today. Um, obviously got some touch-ups you need to do, but I got the basic coloring blocked in, which is good. And so yeah, we're going to probably work on this a lot more tomorrow as I have off. So I'll have my afternoon I can work on this. I'm not sleepy, so that is update for today. Okay, so obviously um, we have some more painting to do. This is just, I got done just blocking out some collar. Because um, to get like a good paint coat on, like for the permanent collar, you need to almost have like a, like a base layer. That way the under paint, like the original paint does not show up. Um, so this is kind of, I got like the basic collaring kind of on. Um, so tomorrow, um, I'm going to come through, I'm going to put like the lighter trim, then the lighter green, darker green parts to his coat, um, the trim and stuff on his jacket, and, um, paint his boots a darker, and then point, um, paint on the markings inside his ears, clean up his face, um, I have, um, two eyes there waiting to go so i'm gonna put them on then and um his tail and yeah i think he'll be pretty much ready to go so 
I will be giving you guys an update tomorrow. Uh, as of now, I just best get going because I am falling asleep doing this. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next update. Okay, so sorry I haven't, I saw him up like the other way around. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but he's drawing right now. Um, so he's all covered in the Mod Podge. Again, I use this purple one here. And I got some little miniature food that I'm working on as well. That's just for fun. But, um, so he is, I paint on his details and everything. So he is all drying. So I'm going to show him to you once he's all dry. And, yeah, I'm hoping it all turns out okay because... I had the one paintbrush I was putting on the Mod Podge and I realized there's like little the little bristles are coming off for some reason. It's kind of an older one. So hopefully there won't be little hairs all over him. So I yeah, we'll see what it looks like when you're done. Hope for the best. So I'll see you guys when he's dry. Okay guys, so this is Professor Nat Quick all done. As you can see, he is looking pretty good. Luckily, you can see a few of the little hairs from my paintbrush that came off, but it's not real noticeable. So, I think he looks pretty good. There's a few little touch-up spots I might kind of touch up as I go on. But um, overall, I think he looks pretty good. Um, so, that's the back. The front. I am still definitely really liking this air dry clay that I've been using. Um, I feel like this is definitely really a lot nicer. I feel like it's a lot smoother and definitely very lightweight, which is nice because he can stand up. His legs kind of. There we go. So you can kind of stand up a lot easier. Then with the more heavier clay, it was kind of a little more topsy-turvy up on the top. So, obviously I decided to do him with his hood up because I couldn't quite figure out, like, taking off the hat and all that and trying to, yeah. So, I did him with his hood up. I might kind of think about ways to do it without his hood. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, that is him all finished. Um, so hopefully you guys found this fun to see. Let me know what you guys think of him. Um, I'm not sure which custom I'm going to do next. If you have any preference on any other characters you'd like to see, you can let me know. Can't promise I'll do them next, but it'll kind of give me an idea basically like what you guys, or who you guys are really most excited to see next. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.